Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for October 25th. October 25th is the 298th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 299th in leap years with 67 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is hypoplasia. Hypoplasia is a noun that means underdevelopment or incomplete development of a tissue or organ. This word comes to us from ancient Greek roots, hypo, which means under, and places, which means formation. Yep. And with that, we're going to start with Crispin and Crispinian, a pair of third century brothers. They might have been twins, but we don't know that for sure. What we do know is that they were cobblers and they were successful at it. They were makers of footwear and they were also followers of the Christian faith. They made shoes and preached Christianity and they were successful enough as cobblers to be able to support themselves and aid the poor. Now, this was in a time when Christianity was taboo, forbidden. So they certainly did attract the attention of the local deputy who had them tortured and thrown into the river with rocks tied around their necks. I believe the proper term was millstone. And by golly, they survived that. Bless their hearts. But it didn't do them too much good because the Roman emperor Diocletian had them beheaded on October 25th, either 285 or 286 AD. Now, <laughs> I'm not sure how history is so certain of the date, but not the year, but there you go. <laughs> so now, why do we care about Crispin and Crispinian? Well, as I mentioned, they were cobblers. Their execution for being Christians made them eligible for sainthood. And so it is that these two, Crispin and Crispinian, are the patron saints of cobblers, couriers, glove makers, lace makers, Lace workers, leather workers, saddle makers, saddlers, shoemakers, tanners, and weavers. In iconography, they are depicted holding shoes and are venerated in the Roman Catholic Church, Eastern Orthodox Churches, and the Church of England. The Toronto Stock Exchange was created on October 25, 1861. This is the birthday of Spanish painter and sculptor Pablo Picasso, born October 25th, 1881. He was notable for cubism and collage. I didn't know about the collage. <laughs> Picasso's dad was an artist. He was a naturalistic painter. And when Pablo was a teenager, his dad and his uncle sent him off to art school. <laughs> but he's Pablo Picasso. <laughs> it didn't take him long at all to stop going to class. He and his work have been much analyzed, but I'm, I'm just here to tell you what happened on this day in history, so we don't need to go in all that art analysis right now, other than to say he was quite a pill and could be a difficult person. Pablo Picasso lived to the age of 91. This is the birthday of Sarah Ophelia Colley Cannon, whom we all know as the entertainer Minnie Pearl. She was born October 25th, 1912. Her first stage performance as Minnie Pearl was in Aiken, South Carolina. That was in 1939. By and by, as she continued performing as Minnie Pearl, someone saw her and invited her to perform on the Grand Ole Opry, where she continued to work for over half a century. She lived to the age of 83. And her hat has a home at the National Museum of American History in Washington, D.C. And I think that's going to do it for us today. I hope you learned something you didn't know before. I know I sure did. I always do. As always, links to my research are included in the show notes down there, uh, along with the uh, link to the This Day in History playlist. Let's see what else. I guess beyond that, I would say give it a like if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share if you found this interesting or informative. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> I, got a, I got a happy gram for Betsy. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that happening. 
Let's see if we can make that be quiet. There we go. 